Jill, tell me um, what was the first step in getting a plan together to be able to have a horse show after you knew all these regulations had come down? So we actually started trying to formulate a plan to have a horse show um, before Governor Abbott ever issued options for equine activities. Back when they first started shutting stuff down, we knew we were gonna be impacted in a big way. Um, and we started trying to figure out a plan of how we could have a safe event, almost a proposal to folks to say, this is what we think we can do. And when they first started um, letting us in that phase one plan of reopening, um, I worked with several other big equine groups. It was a dual effort between a lot of us in the state of Texas and kind of bouncing ideas off each other, how we could ask people to social distance, how we could keep uh, the numbers down in the office, uh, different in and out doors. We talked about in the arenas, actually different in and out gates to where people horseback weren't coming through the same gates and a lot of things like that. And we developed a plan. Um, sent it to some facility managers. One of those facility managers actually sent it to Governor Abbott and uh, went to Sid Miller's office, the Ag Commissioner, and a lot of people in Austin. And we uh, talked to several others influential in the horse industry and also in Austin to try and get our plan in, in front of the governor and get approval. Hamilton is the first show back and here we are. Tell me about um, your concerns coming into the show and then what's the reality been like now that we are, um, you know, a good ways into day two. So, you know, we didn't know when we started planning how many we would have. We didn't know how many people would be economically impacted. We didn't know how many people would be concerned health-wise to come. And this show has just been busting at the seams uh, ever since we started taking entries. We have been blown away by the people and everybody's just so happy to be here. Um, it's been fun planning. We had to order more cattle. We had to make arrangements to add a day to the show because of all the turnout. So it's a great problem to have. You know, we initially anticipated a little bit smaller than average and it has not fallen within that realm whatsoever. But people are glad to be here. We have asked them to practice social distancing. We have a lot of riders that um, fall into a higher risk category a lot because of their age. And we want to provide them a safe place to be and where they feel comfortable coming to show with us because we are um, observing certain social distancing and, and just being cautious. Awesome, thank you.